We were the first to talk to Kathy Lee Gifford this morning about her decision to leave the Today Show. And the big question on everyone's mind. Hey, who's going to fill your shoes? No, no one can fill those shoes. shoes. You know what? Whoever the, it is, it's going to be the most blessed person on earth. Whoever Hoda wants, Hoda gets. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. was with Kathy Lee and Hoda as they took their show on the road in Manhattan. This is all about KLG. This Not is really. All, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, oh, you want to remember how to spell my name. Her last day will be April 7th, but Kathy Lee revealed the original plan was to leave her post a year earlier. I went to um, our bosses and said, I'm going to do one more year with Hoda Woman. And so that was the arrangement until we had some turmoil here, you know, in our, in our midst. We found out early this morning about our colleague, Matt Lauer. And our friend, Noah Oppenheim, came to me and basically said, Kathy, can you just stay? Mm -hmm. Stay a little longer. As E.T. reported, Jenna Bush Hager is now the leading contender to replace Kathy Lee. You know what? You Get, you, you deserve this. Whomever ultimately gets the gig, they will have a mighty task to duplicate their TV chemistry. Kathy Lee told me what it's like having that magic twice. Regis and Hoda. How great was it working with those two? Oh, you know what? I mean, how many people get lightning in a bottle two times in their life? When I retired from television because of, you know, I thought I'd done the best 15 years of television yeah. I could do with the amazing Regis. And then to come back after eight years and, and, and be with Hoda, who... Uh, you know, was Dateline Hoda back then. Yeah, she was. Now no. she's Happy Hour Hoda. Woohoo! Happy Hour Hoda. Kathy Lee is the best. And you know what? A little bit later, we are going to dive into the ET archives. We have spent so much time with Kathy Lee, her late husband, Frank, and their kids. We're going to flash back to when we first met Kathy Lee Johnson. Yes. <laughs> and she had just gotten engaged to Frank. The ET archives never disappoint. Never, ever. They're so fantastic.